to be. Lady C in the place to be. Yes, Lady C in the place to be. Do y'all want to do some Super Bowl food prep with me? Hey, y'all. Hey, my foodies. Yes, we're getting it started. We're getting started. Yeah, we're getting started. Um, I got some turkey meat in my pan um, with some oil, cooking that, just getting that all cooked up. Then, we're, I'm doing this to make my rotel dip. I don't usually use beef, I use turkey meat. So, we've got our turkey cooking here. Then I'm gonna add in my taco seasoning mixed into my meat. Um, we're gonna put the rotel mild and the chi cheese mild salsa con queso in the crock pot. And I'll show you that when I get there. Okay, you guys, I'm back. We got our turkey made in, meat in here. We got our taco seasoning. Uh, we had to add two thirds cup of water, and we're just going to cook this up for a little, a little while, let it simmer. Um, then we're going to add it to the crock pot. Okay, you guys, it's cooking up, it's cooking up, it's cooking up. See that? We're going to let it simmer for a while, get all the good flavors in there, and then we're going to head to the crock pot, you guys. Okay, you guys. So we've got it in the crock pot. This is our turkey meat and our turkey. Um, I mean, excuse me, a taco seasoning mix, okay? Now we're gonna add the Rotel and the um, salsa con queso. So we've got everything. There's our Rotel, one can of Rotel mild. Um, if you like more tomatoes, you can add it in. We got one um, jar of um, salsa con queso. I like to use Tostitos, they didn't have my brand, so I had to get, um, I think it was um, Chi Chi's brand. So there you got your meat. This is all in the crock pot, you guys. And we're just gonna let, now we're just gonna let it cook up. Um, I had already put the taco seasoning mix in my meat. So that's all the flavor you need. You don't need to add any more salt to this. Um, so we're gonna let this go. Um, the game isn't until like eight o'clock today. I'm sorry, my husband corrected me. The game isn't until 6.30. So we got a long time for this to go, so I'm gonna put it on low. If I was in a rush, I would put it on high. But basically everything's cooked. Your meat's cooked. Um, you're just adding your veggies and your cheese in for flavor. So we're gonna leave it on low and just let it go. Hope you all have a good Super Bowl. I'll come back to show you um, our rib preparation and our um, chicken wing preparation. You stir this up. So this is what it's gonna be look like after you stir everything together. And you're just gonna not touch it. Leave it alone, let it bubble up on low. Hey y'all, it's Lady C and I'm back. My Rotel dip is done. Oh, can you see that? Oh, that's what we're gonna be eating on over our um, chips and everything. We got sour cream going on. Now the only problem I have with this, you guys, I usually use Tostito salsa con queso. And that's pretty thick. This time, I could not find that, amazingly, in the stores. So I had to use the Chi Cheese. Do not use this, you guys, it's very thin. I mean, unless you want yours to be thin and you can add some other cheese. Normally I do this, I do my salsa con queso and I may add Velveeta to it, which thickens it up, or um, I will add a can of Campbell's cheddar cheese soup. I'll put that in there, that thickens it up. I didn't have either one of them today, so to me, this is just me. This came out a little bit thinner than I would have normally liked. Now, we're going to eat this, understand me. Um, but I just want to show you guys that and show you the difference between the two so you know what to buy. Um, we waited till the last minute. We, we, we thought we had some, but we didn't. So, it's life is whatever it is. And I want y'all to see we got a new crock pot. Had to get rid of that old one. It was dying. So, that had to go. Hubby is about to get the ribs uh, started. We getting it started, hey. Anyway, he can already start these ribs, so I'm gonna show you guys that. I'm gonna let him get his prep together and I will come back. Okay, all right, we got our ribs getting ready to go. So we got it all nice and seasoned up with... Um... I don't know, you guys. I use I season these and we put them in a um, <clears throat> Ziploc bag. I use a little bit of everything. Um, it's got onion powder, I know. Garlic yeah, onion powder, powder, garlic powder. We had pepper. paprika, pepper, paprika. Um, and there was some of that Minnesota steak seasoning or something like that. 
Um, I'll put that on there. Okay. And that's about it, you guys. Um, but it's very well seasoned. Oh. So basically, I'm gonna do this. Um, but yeah, put a little bit of apple cider vinegar on it, though. Not yet. We got this recipe from Bell Dog's Kitchen, y'all. Don't want y'all to think we made this up. I mean, this is our version. He did a, a video, and I'm saying this again because you know you got to give props to the creator. Um, he did a version of the McRib Golden um, Sandwich, and um, we're doing our version of this McRib Sandwich. Now, ours, he took the whole slab and put it on a large piece of bread. We're going to cut ours up. But he did this, he put, um, he seasoned his, he did put the um, apple cider vinegar on it. Then he wrapped it up. And the, and the end product ideal is just nice and tender, a couple hours, maybe two hours. And in the end, oh, and then we're gonna take the bone out, it should be tender to pull the bone out. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna come back with the sweet uh, golden mustard, sweet bacon rays, mm -hmm. and ladder it, then put it back in the oven. Uh, probably another uh, 30, 40 minutes, and then ladder with uh, put some more of this on it, and then put it back in one more time. Probably a total of maybe two hours, two and a half hours. So, just gonna wrap this up. We got my oven on 350, getting hot. Let's get some more we're gonna let it go, y'all. You okay. guys, yeah. okay, so we're gonna we wrap this up. We put the, the um, apple cider vinegar on it. Wrap this up. We're going to put it down in the oven. We got the oven set at 350. I don't really know what temperature um, Bell Dog used in his video because I don't think he said. But that's what we're going to use. Um, our oven is a gas oven and it gets very, very hot. So we're going to do it on 350 for one hour. Pull it out and see what it looked like. Um, take the bones out and then we're going to put it back in. So we'll come back and show you. Okay, we're back. The ribs are still cooking. And now we're gonna put these jerk wings in the air fryer. Yes, you can air fry anything these days. So we're gonna hook them up, put them in there. Oh, myself. Ooh, yeah, y'all, that's jerk wings. Uh, we use jerk seasoning. Um, I will have to, let me come back and show you guys what, this is the jerk we use, you guys. It's called Walker's Wood Traditional Jamaican Jerk Seasoning Hot and Spicy. Yeah, and hubby is hooking these up. Put them in the pan for the air fryer. We didn't use a lot of jerk. I know we could use a lot more. I am not a spicy person. My husband can take, he can take spice. Um, I'm not. So we just jerked it up a little bit to give it good, good flavor. Put it in the air fryer. And there it goes, y'all. Okay, you guys, we put the wings and now we're back getting the bones out of the rib. Now, the ones Vel Dog did, they were they were St. Louis style ribs. These are baby backs. Um, so it took us a little more than an hour to cook them. Um, but it seems like they're kind of good now to get this bone out. Got one bone out. We're gonna try to get the rest of them out. Oh yes. See the, the whole trick I think is to get it tender enough that the bone just pulls. And what Bell Dog did, he said to twist the bone. Yes, twist it and pull it out. Yeah. I would not advise you to do it with your bare hand. There we go. Because your bare hand is going to burn you up. But that's what you do. You're gonna twist. Um, if you can do it with your hand, do it. Okay, you guys, we got the bones out. But I'm gonna tell you that it was a little different. Um, when we watched the video, he, I think he was using a different type of rib. Our bones, if you notice, maybe show them because you see my chomping on my husband's eating them. Um, they're curved it's a baby back, so. and they're smaller. They were baby back ribs. Um, Bell Dog had, what kind was this? St. Louis cut. St. Louis cut ribs. Bigger bones. And they were bigger bones, less of them, thicker, and they were. Meat, yeah. You know, easier to pull out. So we had a time, a little bit of a time doing this. These gonna be but more I tender. Wanna, yeah, these will be good and tender. And I it's want good. these to be, um, you know, I want a boneless sandwich. So we got it done. So he put more vinegar. So he put a little bit more vinegar on them. 
gonna chew them up a little bit more. Hey, right. rest some of this on. Using the sweet baby rays, sweet golden mustard barbecue sauce. Like that. Take your brush. Just and we're just on. brushing this on. What we had put on first was the apple cider vinegar. And this is the Sweet Baby Ray's um, golden, mustard. golden mustard barbecue sauce. You're gonna put it on both sides. You're gonna wrap it back up and you're gonna put it in the oven. Hey, y'all see that sauce on there? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we're gonna flip it. Oh yeah, y'all. And hubby's gonna put sauce on the other side. Oh yeah. Yes, 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 yes. That's a sweet baby Ray's golden mustard barbecue sauce. Oh, it's gonna be good, y'all. Yes, yes. This is made after Bell Dogs. Um, golden McRib is our version. We gotta wrap it back up. We're gonna put it in the oven and let that go. Okay, you guys, so here is the rim. We're gonna put a little bit more sauce and we've got it on a tray and we've removed the aluminum foil. Yes, 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 yes. Put the sauce all on it. We're gonna put this back in the oven. And then, I don't know, we'll see if we need any more sauce, if it needs to cook anymore. This might be the last time. All right, I'll match you later. Yeah, we're back, y'all. We put our sauce on it the first time, and then we done brought it out. Ooh, the hubby is giving it another soaking with that sauce. Ooh, 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 ooh. Remember, that's that Sweet Baby Ray's Golden Mustard Barbecue Sauce. Yes, and these are baby back ribs. So now they're going back in the oven again for the last time to get that good flavor. All right, y'all, these are our, these are gonna be our buffalo um, wings. And they are in the grease, frying up, frying up. Ooh, the jerk is done. These are our air fried, air fried y'all, air fried jerk wings. Look at that. Ooh, they look scrumptious. Yes, they do. All right y'all, our wings that we fried, they are done and looking scrumptious. Um, hubby fried these naked, right there. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna put some um, buffalo wing sauce on them, and I'll show you that. All right, y'all, so I am back. Here's the sauce, we use the Ruger's wing sauce on our wings. Look at them, look at them. Ooh, they are gonna be tasty, tasty. While I'm at it, let me show y'all the final of our boneless wings that we're gonna use for our Nick Rib sandwiches. Look at these. Woo! Thank you, Bell Dog. What the best of you. We're gonna put these on our bread that we have toasted in the oven. So there's our wings. There's the ribs. Oh my God. We've got onion, and we've got pickles to put on our big rib sandwiches. We've got a shrimp ring, how we got. And then I showed you guys, let me take it off. These are our jerk wings. Yes, and that's not all, y'all. That's not all. Ooh, yeah, I'm back to them ribs again. But let me show you. Yes, here's our hotel dip. We got that too with tortillas, so we will be eating well. 
Yes, video. There is that barbecue. Why is my husband putting his hand in front of my picture? There is that barbecue sandwich, y'all. Yes, that, oh, that rib sandwich with that, oh, golden mustard. Ooh, 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 look at the onions and the pickles of it all. Then we got the jerk wing. Take a look at that, y'all, just look at it. And then we got the buffalo wing with the, mm, Lord have mercy. And then we got some celery and carrot on the side. Oh my God. And we added cucumber. That is a dish, y'all. That's a dish. And we got some shrimp on the side. There's my side. It's not as pretty as my side. So we're about to get down, y'all. Hope you guys are having a great, great day because we are Happy Super Bowl!